In this lecture, we are going to learn how to install Cabal along with Haskell and the Haskell compiler on Mac or Linux. So join me in your terminal or command line application. We're going to enter the following command and you can also copy and paste this command because we'll include the source files for this section. So just go to the end of the section and download the source files and then you can copy the command from the source files. Make sure you are not running the command line as a root or administrator user, just as a regular user. We're using curl to install from ghcup.haskell.org the ghcup package. So hit enter and you'll get this prompt, welcome to Haskell. The script will download and install the following binaries, ghcup, the Haskell tool change installer, ghc, the Glasgow Haskell compiler, cabal, the cabal build tool for managing Haskell software, stack, an optional cross-platform program for developing Haskell projects, and hls, a language server for developers to integrate with their editor, optional. ghcup installs only into the following directory. Currently, I have it in my root directory because I am in my root folder in the terminal. And you can delete ghcup at any time. Press enter to proceed or control C to abort. This script can be rerun at any given time. I hit enter and I get the message detected zsh shell on your system. That's because I'm using the z shell as my default shell in my terminal. You might have a bash shell if you have an older version. You'll get the message, do you want to add ghcup automatically to the required path variable? You want to select yes. You want to add ghcup to a path variable list. That way you can reference ghcup as a variable name. So we're going to hit P or A for prepend or append. You can just hit enter as well for the default P. Next, we get the message, do you want to install Haskell language server? HLS is a language server that provides integrated development environment like functionality and can integrate with different editors. We don't need it so we can hit N for no. Do you want to install Stack, a Haskell build tool similar to Cabal? Don't need that so we can hit N for no. And remember you can rerun the script at any time. Then we get a downloading message, the time spent, and if we need an upgrade or update. We get a system note on OS X. In the course of running ghcup, you'll be given a dialog box to install the command line tools. Accept and the requirements will be installed for you. You'll then need to run the command again. On Darwin M1, so the newer Mac computers with the M1 chip instead of the Intel chip, you might also need a working LLVM installed via brew. So you can use brew install LLVM if needed and have the tool chain exposed in path. So which means you have to add LLVM to your environment path if you're on an M1 Mac. Next, you'll be asked to press enter to proceed or control C to abort, hit enter, and the installation will occur. First, we'll download the latest package list from hackage.haskell.org. You'll get a message, OK, your Z shell has been modified with the environment variables. Restart your terminal for the changes to take effect or type in a command to apply the changes to the current terminal session. Then you'll get the message all done. To start a simple REPL, run GHCI. To start a new Haskell project, run Cabal init. To install other GHC versions, run GHCup TUI. If you're new to Haskell, go to the official Haskell website to read more. So in order to use our new variables, our new packages, we have to either restart the terminal or enter the command. Now we can access tools like Cabal. In this case, we can check Cabal version. So in this case, we're using Cabal install version 3.6.2.0. And that's the main focus of this installation. But we also have access to other tools as well. Remember, if you go back to the very top, you'll see that. For the installation, we also got ghcup, ghc, Cabal as well. So we got those three. So that is how you can install Cabal on Mac or Linux. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.